All right, guys, time to turn all this orange peel into a glass-like smooth finish. As you can see here, I tested out the new stuff that I got, and you can tell how glass-like this looks. There's absolutely no more orange peel on this. So I tested it out on the old bumper, nice, glass-like, smooth. You can see your reflection very well. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the entire new fender. Time to wet sand this whole thing with 1500 grit. Be careful of the edges. You don't want to sand away the clear coat there. It's very easy to sand away the clear coat from that spot. So I pretty much rubbed down the entire panel now. And the way you kind of test if you missed any spots is if you run your finger along and if it has any sort of suction at all, then you know that you missed a spot. Another way to tell is what I'm going to do now, which is drying off the entire panel. We'll take a look where it doesn't look uniform and where it still looks semi-glossy instead of a flat finish because right now we really want to make this as flat as possible and it should definitely not be glossy when you dry it off. It should definitely be hazy. Now I can already feel right here I missed a spot because it's dragging a little bit so I'm going to take care of this and then I'm going to dry off the entire panel. Okay so as you can see this is nice flat hazy and let's look at a spot where I didn't do so well right here. When I glide my hand across it, I can still feel that there's a suction. So if I do a watch, you see how my fingers, you see how my fingers right here, right, I'm not using any force. But once you get to a spot, you, felt, you see that? That means that there's still suction right here. More needs to be done. Here, nice and smooth. Oh, there's a little bit I gotta do. So that's how you tell where you need to continue sanding. Right here, even though it looks like a mess, there is it's super smooth. So you know that you're done with this area. wipe it off and see what results we get from this section okay as you can see it's much better there's still some orange peel in there so I probably have to do a little bit more sanding so that's why I'm just testing out to see if I've done enough okay let's wipe this off see how it comes out still not perfect definitely need more sanding so I might go down to the 1000 grit in order to get rid of this orange peel so as you can see what I did here was I buffed out a little bit of it so that you can see the difference between before sanding and after sanding and as you can see there's no more orange peel which is of course the purpose of buffing and sanding and polishing so I'm, what I'm gonna do is take care of the rest of this panel and there's still some areas that I haven't sanded down enough like here here but uh, for the most part, it's almost ready to go. Maybe a little bit here. After everything gets sanded down to exactly how I need it, I'm going to polish out the whole thing till it looks like this. Okay, so I just got done with one side. I didn't get done with the top here, as you can see, but I got done with the side of the car. And you can definitely tell that it is like a mirror-like finish. Very, very nice. I used 1000 grit in order to sand it down to an even uniform finish and then I used Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I didn't even use 1500. I guess the next thing that I could do is either polish this 
or go straight to a layer of Opticoat, which I'm thinking of doing because I want to Opticoat the entire car along with the uh, Golf. So my question to you guys is, do I leave this as is without any polish on it and then go straight to the Opticoat? Or do I have to do something before putting Opticoat on this? Because there's literally no imperfections on this right now and I think Opticoat will help keep it that way. So this is pretty fresh paint. I guess I should wait a little bit before I put on the Opticoat. But let me know what you guys think. If I should just go straight to Opticoat or if I should do something else before I do that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.